happy monday guys welcome back to another vlog today i'm going to take you through a little like healthy productive monday vlog i'm really excited because it's my first time going to our dallas studio it's not like a dear media studio but in different cities we have like our new york studio isn't a dear media studio it's just one that they like use in new york so they finally got a dallas one because i said if I do another Zoom recording, I'll like literally cry. Going to that today, I'm very excited. And I'm just gonna take you guys through a little healthy, productive day. I've got a really busy next two days. So I leave for a trip on Wednesday. So I'm trying to get everything done. You guys seem to really love my like productive Monday vlogs. Let me know what you guys wanna see on vlogs. I've been like really insecure about YouTube lately and I don't know why I'm never really insecure, especially about YouTube, I don't know. I just have been like, I don't know, just like weird. Maybe uninspired, I don't know. I don't know, but let me know what you guys want to see. All right, subscribe if you guys are new here. We're gonna get going with the day. So, I just got back from my workout. I'm really glad I started off my Monday morning like that. I had the worst Sunday, like, scaries yesterday. I literally went to bed at 5 p.m. Read all Colleen Hoover because it, she just really calmed me down. I read two novellas, so they're short books, and then I'm 75% through the book that I started last night. Like, I essentially read three books, but two of them are really short. And that's what cured me, it really did. This cup, by the way, best thing ever. So if you guys have been watching me on Instagram, you know that I've been loving WW recently. I really just wanna focus on taking care of myself, especially as life is getting a lot busier, and I just need that to be a priority. I start off by taking a personal assessment through WW. It was really easy. I'm not focusing on weight loss or anything. I'm more so focusing on like a wellness routine. So it's been really helpful to really keep myself accountable with this wellness routine. I would describe it kind of as when you and a friend start working out together and then it's like more inspiring and you're more motivated and more likely to keep up with it because you have someone like holding you accountable. That's kind of what WW has been for me. The app has so many different features from what's in my fridge, which I love. I do that a lot at lunch. I love the bedtime tracker. I will stay up until 2 a.m. reading as we know and I can't do that because I love my early morning workouts. So I like the bedtime tracker to like keep me accountable to like when I need to go to bed. The water tracker like I showed you guys. Today is Monday, it is a new week. I did already have water today, so I'm just tracking that. And then I need to track my workout. I really like this because it honestly like really motivates me since I know that I can like physically see it. I don't know, something about actually having this app has really just made me so much more inspired. I know that's a pretty small thing, but it's made the biggest difference in my wellness journey and that's really thanks to WW. They also have really good recipes, which is honestly probably my number one thing, but I feel like I've talked about that so much on Instagram. The squash is really good. I have a reel if you guys want to try it out. That's from the WW app, but they just have so many different recipes. Okay, so if you guys want to take your WW personal assessment, I will have it linked down below and you guys can start your own WW wellness journey like me. Normally, I would make breakfast here and my coffee here and whatever, but no. Today's a very special day. We are going to Starbucks because I am going to the Dallas studio for the very first time, and this is very exciting for me. I'm gonna start doing this, I think, every Monday morning. Since I'm traveling, I'm recording two weeks of episodes of intros and stuff, so I'm gonna pack up my bag that I love, and then we're gonna head off to the studio. I'm very excited to take you guys along with me. It's a very exciting time. Also, like I'm not having the best makeup day. Like I barely put any on and I, I should have just not put any on because it is messed up. So. Hey guys, I'm in the Dallas studio. Very exciting. I've been recording for the past 40 minutes. I have one more ad read. And then I'm good to go, which is exciting. I just finished in the studio. I just posted a bunch of like random branded content and answered emails. I feel like I didn't realize how much I'm normally on my laptop on Monday mornings when I can't be on it for an hour. Anyways, I'm feeling very productive. Something about getting out of my house and working elsewhere with besides the coffee shop just really does something for me. It is currently 11.15. I actually have to pick something up. I'm like 30 minutes away from home and I have to pick something up closer to here at one. So I think I'm just gonna go to that area and then get some work done, answer some calls and stuff before I head home and then like make my lunch and do all that stuff. All of my recipes are literally from WW. And you guys know that I think I'm Martha Stewart so it's like really great. I reopened this again and I added it to my tracker. Here I am, 
adding another glass. Okay, another thing too. I've been journaling a lot more recently. Also inspired from WW. I feel like I used to and I've kind of been off of it. So like I was saying, the ways that I build confidence with myself <laughs> is by making promises to myself and keeping them. So whether that's like my morning workout classes, um, if I say I'm gonna wake up and read and journal, things like that. That's how I build confidence is that like it's through trust and knowing that I can trust myself and that I'm actually gonna like take the time to like invest in myself. Yeah. Love that. Anyways, all my little wellness hacks and routines and stuff that I've implemented recently have really helped with that. It's 1 p.m. I ended up just staying in my car because I had calls to take. It was a very productive hour and a half of my life. Sometimes I will. I used to work for my car all the time in L.A. That's the music. I thought there was screeching behind me. But honestly, sometimes I have my most productive times in the car and it's hot. I didn't want to go to another Starbucks and now I'm just here at my car place waiting to pick up my other car stuff. I am in the process of buying a new car. The reason it's taking so long is because I'm very particular on the exact things that I want. And unfortunately, the color combo that I want in the car is the least common. So just taking a second, but I'm using one of my family's cars and then I'm picking up stuff from my old car here so that's why I stayed over on this side of Dallas it's like kind of far from where I live these kinds of days where you're just like on run and getting so much done are so good also I think I've had my best idea yet for a Dallas event I immediately called my manager and I said Lindsay I have an idea potentially my best yet and let me tell you it's going great um on our geneva group chat which i'll have linked down below we have a big one we have one for dallas girls we have one for like the newsletter i mean they're all separate but if you live in dallas or you're moving to dallas and you want to make friends and stuff join that group chat because i'm talking about it and it's gonna be very exciting got home and i'm really craving this mug muffin i used to make these at home a lot so i just did that my kitchen smells so good this is very exciting I finished. It smells so good. I don't even want to show it to you because, listen, like a 90 second mug doesn't like look cute, but it tastes really good. It made my entire kitchen smell incredible. So I am Martha Stewart. Thank you very much. I'm home. I'm editing actually some stories for WW to send in. I made that little treat and it's really good, but I think I'm going to actually order in food. I normally, honestly, I have been eating at home a lot more. Going out of town this weekend, I don't really have groceries. And also I'm about to be on calls for the next two hours in 20 minutes. So I don't really have time to make lunch. All right, guys, I'm on my second call now. Jess is on here. We have a call with our friends from Daily Drills and they're really helping us out today and I love them. <laughs> and their website, go look at their homepage right now, Jess. It looks actually really cute. Their website? Yeah, because it's like from the New York shoot. Love that, my food is almost here. Gonna keep working and fill this up so I can track it in my app. <laughs> All right guys, so I've just spent the past few hours on the phone. I actually just got off a call with my friends who own Daily Drills and they gave us like a lot of tips and stuff, which is very exciting. Ending my work day and I'm actually gonna go on a walk. Another thing I love is the mindset section. So you're able to just like pick something. So I'm gonna pick this so no meditation, way. which is walk in your neighborhood. It's just 10 minutes, it's an easy little thing to do because I'm honestly just feeling a little like stressed and anxious after a work day. I don't know why I always feel that way. So going on a walk outside is helpful, but really listening to this like meditation as I'm going on a walk is really helpful. I also have like a ton of different options. So there's like sleep music. Um, they have things for like when you wake up, end of day, to kind of wind down, basics. So I'm gonna end this vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will have the link below to WW where you guys can take your own personal assessment and start your own wellness journey. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon.